Um, I, I, and I will be training some people to help me who are medical students, nursing students. Um, I will be testing vision and matching the findings of, of those tests with these glasses that are donated by the Lions Club. So we are sorting them by prescription. You probably know that most people don't have the same prescription in both eyes. So what we are doing here, they are pre-sorted by the Lions Club based on right eye prescription. We are banding together all like left eye prescriptions. I open a bag, they're all minus 300. But within the minus 300, there's a uh, a left eye that is minus 275 or minus 325. So we are banding right now all the light ones together. Will you be delivering them these uh, glasses yourself and some of the other goods? Um, I'm, I am flying to Lesbos, Greece, yes. And okay. we'll be doing this there. All of the, uh, these people are helping me, but International Medical Relief has a team of physicians, dentists, nurses, nursing students or medical students for every category that I mentioned, except I believe Dennis. I'm the only one who's doing vision, but I will quickly latch on to people to help me. International Medical Relief focuses on short-term medical missions, and we work a lot in areas where there's limited or no access to health care. But also we work in areas where the people have been compromised otherwise, like in disasters, and that's what brought us to help the Syrian refugees in Greece. Do you want to share a little bit about what our clinics look like? Clinics at IMR focus on acute medical care and acute dental care, as well as community health education. We believe that without all three pillars, patients are not served in a sustainable fashion. We bring many different kinds of providers, including nurses and doctors and, and advanced practice providers. We bring a variety of dental people as well. So we bring general dentists, oral surgeons, periodontists, endodontists. And we bring community health care workers. Many of these are public health professionals. Some of them are public health interns. Our, our clinics also use a significant number of non-medical staff. About 50% of our clinics need to be non-medical in order for us to appropriately function. Those non-medical staff members are hands-on with patients. They are helping patients move from one department and clinic to another. They help with wound care. They help in the lab. They help in the pharmacy. And they also shadow and scribe for our electronic medical record system for our providers. So uh, the Syrian health system has been absolutely devastated by the conflict. And for the most part, a lot of these refugees have been without adequate medical care for years now. Um, they're transitioning, 50% of them pass through Lesbos, Greece, which is why we're going there. And at this point, they've been on the road already for several months. So they're in desperate need of medical care, and that's why we're going. Um, as they arrive on the beaches by boat, there will be uh, EMTs and paramedics that are going to be triaging there. And then based upon their needs, they will come to us and we will treat them at that point.